Hello everyone and welcome to another quick tutorial, this time on how to edit your textures for your skins in GTA San Andreas and San Andreas Multiplayer. This was requested in the comments of my previous tutorial on how to edit ped.ifp files, and since it's a relatively simple process again, I thought it would be quite easy to make a quick tutorial for it. As you can see, we're here in the game. And we're going to be editing the Clayton skin that I'm using for my new San Andreas multiplayer video series. And we'll notice that he's now currently wearing a red shirt. In this tutorial we are going to be changing this from red to blue. Relatively simple edit and it shouldn't take very long at all. So if we cut back to the desktop. Uh, the first thing you're going to need for this tutorial will be a TXD Workshop. There will be a link in the description which will take you to this website, which is gtagarage.com. I will link you to this page here where you can get TXD Workshop. From here you want to click uh, Download Mod, and then you want to go to TXD Workshop version 5.0 and click Download. And then you want to save that anywhere you want. The download will take no time at all because it's only 465 kilobytes. Uh, once you've downloaded it, which I'm not going to do because I've already got it, you want to extract it from the RAR file and then open up txdworkshop.exe. It's already ready to go as soon as you um, uh, extract it from the RAR file. I've already got it, so I'm going to close that, and then you want to navigate to your GTA San Andreas Models folder. Then you want to open GTA3.img, but because my TXD workshop is already associated with IMG and TXD files, I can just double click the icon here. But uh, if it's not associated on your PC by default, you may need to open TXD workshop and then drag GTA3.img to this column here, like so, which will open all of the, if we just put some full screen quickly, uh, open up all of the models and textures in the game. I know the ID for the skin that I wish to edit. You will also need to know the number of the skin you wish to edit, but uh, TXT Workshop doesn't work by skin number, it works by file name. So you need to go to a second link in the description which will bring you here to the San Andreas Multiplayer Wiki. Once you're here you need to press Control F and then type in your skin number. For example the Clayton skin is number 161 which will automatically bring me down here to the Clayton skin. The skin model name is the piece of information you're interested in and for me it's CWMYFR so I can then copy that, go back to TXD Workshop and paste it down into this box down here at the bottom just above the start button. Paste it there and that will automatically bring me to CWMYFR.txd. If you get a confirm that the file has changed, ignore that for now. And there you can see the Clayton skin with the red shirt. So from here we want to click export, making sure that this file here is selected. Click export. Then you want to export as PNG. And we're going to save this to desktop quickly. Now this part of the tutorial is where things get a little bit more complicated because there are so many variables. I cannot tell you how to edit the individual textures in your image editor because I have no idea which image editor you are using. So in order to edit the files this tutorial assumes that you have a working knowledge of the image editor of choice. So for example you can use Photoshop or you can use GIMP. Uh, if you're extremely talented you could even use Paint if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to be using Photoshop CS3 because that's what I have and I'm going to be running through the edits that I'm going to be making. Uh, the process of this will be different for everyone so know what edits you want to make and know how to make them because I can't explain the process for every image editor I can only explain it for the one that I have which is what I'm going to be doing so then from here after we've exported the skin we want to go back to desktop where we saved it and here it is in the top corner then we want to drag that down to Photoshop and here is our file now from here we're going to be wanting to uh, use the selection tool here and then we're going to uh, highlight the shirt for the majority of it and then we're going to zoom in a little bit more and then we're going to hold down shift and click and drag to highlight the rest of it and then we're going to press ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste 
And now we have a, if I just invert that quickly, we now have a duplicated layer of the shirt. From here we're going to go to Image Adjustments Hue Saturation, which you can also get to with Control U. Then we're going to tick the Colorize box here, which will automatically turn it blue for me. And there we go. Now we have a blue shirt. Now we want to extract this part here. Yes, we want that as the colour it came originally, so we're going to use the selection tool to take off the top part to keep it nice and square. There we go, and then we're going to switch to the eraser tool at size 9. And we're going to start rubbing out as much as we can in this little section here. Now it's starting to get too thin for the 9 pixel brush, so we're going to switch to a 3 pixel brush and just finish off the bottom area here. And there we go, that is now our Clayton skin with a blue shirt instead of the red one, which he started with there. A nice simple edit. And that's all we want to do for this tutorial. So now we want to go to Layer and flatten the image. And now we can just press Control S to save it over the original file. Now we've edited the skin, we want to go back to TXD Workshop, and now we want to click this Import button. It should open at desktop by default, I believe. But from here, we just want to simply open our edited file. And you will now notice that the skin now has the blue shirt. So from here, you want to click uh, Save TXD. And that should now be your skin ready to use in game. We're going to cut to the game now quickly. And here you can see our Clayton skin in a, his new fancy blue shirt. That is literally the entire process. Obviously different texture edits will vary, you may want to do something a lot fancier with your edit. For example, uh, the one I actually use for my San Andreas multiplayer video series, I gave him a stubbly beard and some gloves as well as a blue shirt. So the process is the same, you just edit the picture and then use this tutorial to import and export, etc. So that's just about it for this tutorial. If you liked it or found it helpful at all, I'd appreciate a like. You can also leave a comment with some feedback, because that also helps me out. And you can follow me on Twitter by going to twitter.com slash Wibbington. That's all from me for now. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.